So here is a trick that will save you a ton of time when you are editing videos over and over and over again every week. This is a video that we had already created. Nicole on my team made this video and I did some of the editing. Now I'm going to save it as a template. So I like to organize these lines over here. You can add more lines for either video or audio. I'm gonna call the sound effects. This would be an audio line. This audio line that we just was already named audio one, I'm gonna call it music. So you can add tons and tons of different lines, but I only really need two audio tracks. There will usually just be music and sound effects, or I might also have one for voiceover. So for instance, if you went to a neighborhood and you were driving around taking video of the neighborhood, you're gonna come back later and record the voiceover. That could be a third. You just hit the plus, you call it voiceover. Now we've got a different track. My terminology, and again, you can call whatever you like, but the main video I call the A roll. This is what we are going to see the majority of the time. B roll is any supplemental footage that will enhance what we're talking about. So I've muted all of the, I should probably mute the music as well. I've muted everything so that I can talk and you won't hear anything. Okay, so let me show you an example. So here we start with the beginning. There's some B-roll. Nicole says, are you thinking about uh, moving to the Savannah area? Then we have our logo stinger, our bumper, our intro, whatever you wanna call it. Then we come back to the main, hey everyone, I'm Nicole Moore. I'm an agent with Keller Williams Coastal Area Partners here in Savannah. Uh, if this is your first time here, you really need to subscribe to our channel. Then she goes into like the top five things that you can do when you come to Savannah. So number one, take a tour. Then we go on to number two, you can ride in a hearse. Number three, four, and five. Number five is you can go to the beach. So then we have more B-roll of her out at the beach where she took footage of what Tybee Island looks like. Then we wrap it up at the very end. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I want you to like the video. I want you to comment, share it with a friend. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you can get notified. And then at the very, very end is our outro. So these are the same elements that we're gonna use over and over and over again. Let's save this as a template so we don't have to recreate the wheel every time we make a new video. This was a video that's already done. All I have to do now is when I'm completely finished with it is save it as a template. If you're not terribly familiar with WeVideo, the first thing I want you to do is figure out what your brand colors are. Whether you use your brokerage's brand colors or you have come up with your own logo, you need to know what these colors are. You need to know what the hex code is. I keep the notes app on my computer and on my phone handy all of the time, and I have the hex code for the bright pink, the bright yellow, and the turquoise colors. That way, all I have to do when I wanna modify these things is double click it, come up to the color palette, and paste in the hex code right here. So I can come in here and change these colors to be whatever I want. Do that one time. You can change the font. You can choose whatever font you like. If you have fonts for your brand, use those fonts if they're available. Now, not every single font is available, but they do have a lot. So Playfair Display is one that I use in my logo. I could change this to Playfair Display if I wanted to. You'll change the fonts, you'll change the colors, you'll change it however you want to modify your stuff. One of the reasons that I love this plan on WeVideo, and I use the highest level of the Wii video plans. I think they have four different pricing structures. I use the one that lets you have multiple user licenses so that I have a license, my virtual assistant has a license, and my team member has a license. And that way all three of us can use it. But the reason I love it is because it comes with free B-roll. So if you click on this tab that says this the star and I typed in Savannah, Georgia, look how much stock footage I found that I can use for free. And 
some of them are, you know, just a car coming up from River Street, driving up the cobblestone street, showing all the trees with Spanish moss. If you looked for open house, you'll find tons and tons of free stock footage that you can use. Not all of them are fabulous. Some of them are, you know, kind of cheesy, I would say. Um, here's, oh my God, really? That's the real estate agent. Okay, we need to hire a new actor, but maybe we could start from here and crop that guy out. But you get what I'm saying. They've got all of this free stock footage. You would just grab what you wanted. Okay, that's a little better. We don't look quite so cheesy in this one. You would grab the one that you wanted and you would drag it down into the line called B-roll and then edit it. I'm gonna trim it to fit so that all you had to do is make it a little bit shorter and you would put it right where you want it to go. So now when we back up and we play it, you can see that this B-roll will pop up while she is talking and that way it's something more interesting to look at than just Nicole's face talking to the camera. As lovely as you are, Nicole, people don't wanna watch us all the time. Um, if you want to add the different, mm, what are these called? I call them titles. So there's all these different titles. Motion means they're moving, static means they don't move. So you just decide what you want. I like the motion. And as you click on each one, it will kind of give you a little preview of what it's gonna look like. You say, ooh, I really like that one. You drag it down here. I would put it in the line either called B-roll or call to action, depending on what you're going to be using it for. And again, you just double click it, go up to this little pencil, change the colors, change the font, write whatever it is that you want to appear here, save that change. You'll do this throughout the entire video over here where I have my little intro. So that's an intro that I already have created and I've saved it on my desktop. It's called New Team Intro. I just imported it by going up here to this one where it says Media and I import and I browse for it. Once it's in here, I don't have to look for it anymore. So now it will always just be in here and I am trying to organize my stuff into folders so that I would be able to just go go to this folder and find it without having to browse for it a long time. But I would put it up here in the line that says intro and outro. So here's the intro, here is the outro on the intro and outro line. On the logo line, if you wanted to put your logo or your brokerage logo, you would put that here. So something like this. And if you double click it, you can slide it and make it smaller and you can put it wherever you want it to go. Hit save. The call to action is always like, subscribe, comment. If at the very end you said, go get my free guide, you could make one that says, click here to download my free guide. They go over to your landing page, they download whatever it is that they want. So now you're all done with your video, you like it, you save it. And now we want to convert to template. So I'm gonna call this Nicole Video Template. That way, anytime Nicole records a video, she can upload it into WeVideo and use this template, and then all she has to do is just edit her A-roll take out the mistakes, take out the pauses, take out the ums and ahs, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to make this live and I'm gonna give everybody access to it. Convert. So now when we go to the dashboard and I say, I wanna create a new edit, I can do a blank one starting from scratch or I can start from here. How awesome is this? What do you wanna call it, etc. So that is how you do a template in Wii Video. It will save you a ton of time. Make a really, really good video the first time and then make a template out of it so you can use it over and over and over again.